So Mark, we're watching the first team's first game here. Referees having a bit of a pedantic fit about goal come kicks. 0-0 no, no here. We've just come off with the second team, having a 2-0 opening win. I just think it went. I couldn't be happier. Um, we had a lot of thoughts in mind about things we needed to do, how people were going to play, where they were going to play before the match, and they all came together and it clicked. Um, I really couldn't be happier. Uh, took a while for the goals to come. We ever worried that we wouldn't get on the score sheet? Um, it crossed my mind. I mean, a point wouldn't have been the worst result there. We did boss the second half, but and I would have been disappointed coming off with the point. Um, I'm conscious that striking options are um, are good. The options we have are good, but they're they're they're, they're limited. Um, so I'm, I don't think we're going to be bagging away goals for fun. Uh, but I'm pleased with how we got on. Okay, and two goals for Ollie Swain, who you've bought in from Nottingham. Yeah, he looks uh, he looks sharp around the box. His uh, his, fir his first touch was lacking a little bit in the first half, but um, he's he was getting a he was getting into positions. He was making runs, getting down the channels. I was very pleased. And um, right on cue, Mr. Liver at centre back, very good performance. Assured and polished, I would say, as befitted as, as befitted most of the defenders today. I, I would add, in terms of performances, there are a lot of good performances out of today. But I'm especially pleased with Dave Clifford. A really, really good game in a position he wasn't familiar with entirely. Um, so, very chuffed with him. And very positive going into this afternoon. All to play for, all to look forward to. Excellent. <laughs> I'm on the tram with the second team manager, Matt Holt. It's the morning after the first round of games. 2 0 was the first result, 2 0 loss was the second result. Uh, talk us through the second game, Matt. Let's catch up on that one. Um, well, we came up against a team that we immediately found were uh, very quick and strong uh, and I'd say significantly more technically adept than the first team that we played. Um, we were exposed in the first few minutes, we knew what we were up against straight away and uh, the pattern of the match didn't really change. Uh, what I was pleased with though was the way that um, the effort levels didn't drop, the heads didn't drop, we did stay in the hunt for uh, an equaliser but in the end we were just undone by a team that wasn't streaks like in terms, of, uh, <laughs> in terms of ability. Uh, and hello to Ollie's mum. <laughs> I know her well. <laughs> Most men do. <laughs> okay, and uh, two games today. Uh, big one is Birmingham Blaze. Oh, don't even start me. This is, this, this is, this is the one. We, we, we'll never live it down if we don't get something out of this game. So is heads on. The, the game against all games are important. We want to give ourselves a fine chance getting through. But uh, the, the game against Prague this afternoon is important. The win against Blaze is also important. This is where we have to, this is where we have to up our game. This is where our optimum work levels from everyone. Everyone 100% And uh, anyone that worries you on the Birmingham side? John Paul Kessler perhaps? I'm looking forward to John Paul Kessler's Facebook state. Being. John Paul Kessler is writhing around on the floor, tasting bitter defeat, having been kicked to pieces by Matt Hall and John Cassidy. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting status update to me. We'll catch up with you later. Okay, so I'm here with Dave Clifford, having a good stretch prior to the first game of the second day. Dave, against your, against your former club, Birmingham Blaze, how do you think it's going to go? I think we'll win. Of course. Um, Anyone you worried about? Well, we know Greg Ellis is a quick player, sharp on the ball. Hello, darling. Hello. <laughs> um, now I'm quietly confident that we can bounce back from yesterday's disappointment and get back in this division. Okay, new position for you this tournament. Mm. Defensive First midfielder, <laughs> Dave Clifford. First How tire. Bottom, <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding it there? Um, <laughs> um, no, it's uh, I'm growing into it. I think sometimes it's a bit difficult. Um, as you say, it's new. I'm not really sure what I should be doing. But I think that I can the first game. I didn't really feel like I was in the second game yesterday. But we'll learn the lessons from it and into better today. Okay. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. Okay. So we're here with the chairman of the club, Graham Liver. Good morning. Good morning. Free <laughs> You're amazing. Um, Mixed day yesterday for you. Yes, but well, for me. Yep. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> um, you had a very good first game. How do yes. you think that went? Uh, well, we won. Um, and uh, against Halo Pony. 
which was good. And then the second game, I've uh, got the score sheet. The horrendous bobble, scored an own goal. Uh, like that one, you just missed a very soft one. That says it all. Uh, that says it all. The guys in pink. Yeah. If we lose against O's this afternoon, I'm burning my boots. And half the team. Um, so yeah, mixed day yesterday, today a day full of promise, full of anticipation, excitement, of hope, of hope, a day of hope. You've got to have hope. And let's just see what happens. So much could happen. Jubilation, a feeling of euphoria, or maybe a feeling of disappointment and just a feeling of deflation. And on, that, we don't have that and on that cheerful note, thank you, Kramer. Yeah. Goodbye. Come on, can we put our hands together? It looks like it's stopping too late. <laughs> Come on, put your hands together and show me your beautiful faces. It's just a little warmth for the love of God. Pass to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Matt, we're busy enjoying Rudolf Platz. Uh, had a few drinks after day two of the competition. Bit of a disappointing day for the Village Manchester Seconds. 3 1 loss to Birmingham Blaze, 1 0 loss to uh, Justin Fast New All Stars, friends of Prague, ridiculously long name. And all that shite. Thoughts on the day? Well, I mean, for a start, Pete, I think I might say you might want to hold that camera a little bit more steady. Fat chance. <laughs> uh, Blaze, well, they did alright, didn't they? They're not bad. Yeah, uh, all I'd say is there, progress. Think about how we got spanked a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, when John Paul sees the first video diary, I have no doubt I'll be hearing from him. So that, was, that, may, that may get edited. Well, I think mean, I say balls anyway. Um, I didn't knock over a ball then. Technical football today. We upped our game a little bit, um, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't up our game right up as far as the pitch into the back of the goal. Uh, obviously, I have some man management issues to contend with. Uh, they will be addressed. And the person concerned will be dressed down accordingly. Um, and yeah. We're going to bring it on tomorrow. We've got uh, we've got Cologne's third team. They didn't look, they didn't look all lacking about a fucking bag of chips. So I'm sure we'll get them tomorrow. And, hello, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave you now, Pete, to go after him in the black and white t-shirt. <laughs> oh no! Well, you look like his boy from the radio. So we we'll leave you for now. You changed to a four-four-two formation today. Uh, was that based on your own decision or get some tactical brilliance from your captain? No, it's based on my captain telling them this is the wrong formation to go. <laughs> How do you think that went? Yeah, it, it worked out of shite. I'm not listening to that fucking twice again. <laughs> and tomorrow we've got um, All Stars from uh, somewhere in Germany. Oh, so Any hopes for that? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll dig the fucking crowds and then we'll fucking bosh the Argies. In some fucking bag of shite, we'll fucking piss all over. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you, Matt Hall. That's all right. Okay, here with Anthony Lockley, first team manager, not had a chance to catch up all week, but you just come off the pitch with a third successive win, 2-0 against Paris Barcelona. Um, to take it back a little bit to the first day though, uh, which was a very late 1-0 win against Amsterdam, what were your thoughts on that? I think we can play better, but in the first game in any tournament, when you add expectation into the mix. Um, nerves, tension can play a big part. And I felt that did to a point, but I also thought they applied themselves very rigidly and they were quite robust and very, well, some of them very edgy tackles. Um, and we didn't convert a couple of very early chances. Um, we got amongst them, I got amongst them at half time, and I thought the response was excellent. We started to play much better to feet. Uh, the tension was removed, freedom of movement. Um, and we could have scored and then you sometimes need a bit of something special in tournaments like this it can be the, the difference between winning and, and losing um, and we, we got it you know right at the end something doesn't happen too often for us a, a 25 yard screamer but I think 
when you come to a tournament the standard of this you need those little moments of quality and we have one in the first game and it set us on our way and, and I think obviously uh, the last minute goal and the manner of the victory gave everyone a big lift and that took you into day two which was a big big game against the host city Cologne and um, it was a fantastic 3-1 victory how, how does that rank up with uh, some of the other victories as Village Manchester? Well I can only comment on my time as manager and I'm focused now solely on us getting as far as we can in this tournament but reflecting on my time and I've had some good times as Village Manchester it's by a mile the best victory for me to come to here the biggest best gay tournament has ever been against the most decorated team on their home patch it's up there with the 4-1 in Munich if you ask me and we, we played superbly the manner of it was, was very mature and in the end the quality and energy we have in our youth especially was the difference in that last that final 10 minutes when we put them to bed uh, it was a terrific performance and I think the getting that win on the first day removed the requirement to have to win that game which gave us I think more freedom and you saw that again today with our, with our victory yeah it was a very solid very comfortable 2-0 win today it was we had to spend a lot of energy to do it though they sat very deep and we had to keep working the ball so it's something we had to we had to work very hard on and uh, um, uh, it, it, it's come at a price, you know, we've picked up another serious injury. So, uh, any worries about the um, depth of the squad as you continue? Yeah, um, but I, I, two weeks ago I had 18 fully fit players, uh, now I've got 14 and a half, um, and that's the nature of these tournaments. I think one of the great things about this week is the number of us who've been here before, and we know you have to have 18, inevitably by Thursday or Friday you'll have 12 or 13 fit players and it's the same for everybody else so yeah I'm concerned about the players I've lost but I know it's been experienced everywhere else. Okay and uh, just thoughts on uh, Cologne as a whole, how are you enjoying things? Cologne is a wonderful city, when I found out two years ago that the Gay Games was going to be here um, there was kind of a tunnel set in my mind for the rebuilding and refreshing the first team ready for this event because it's a brilliant city fantastic setup the Germans know how to run a tournament and I knew the best teams in the world will come here with the best teams we've ever had and it was very important for me that we came here in our best shape and we have Cologne itself brilliant place okay and uh, one more game this afternoon how do you think that's gonna go I don't know. Well, San Francisco will come at us guns blazing. It's it's a testament to the quality of the group we're in. We're in the the three times winners of this tournament. They have to come out and try and beat us because results have been so tight. We can we can sustain any results and still qualify. Of course, we're going to go out there. Point minimum will give us a clear group group, group victory. Uh, but I expect a really really tough game. Not the game I wanted, but. We couldn't have done any better, uh, but I, th I think we're going to have a tough game this afternoon. I expect them to fly at us from the off. And I'll, well, I haven't really thought about my team selection. I'm going to have a bite to eat and I'm going to sit down somewhere quiet as I do and do it then. We're just going to take a look at this guy's throwing. Wow. <laughs> I'd love to see Steve Clayton do that. <laughs> and on that note, we'll catch up. So we're here with the co founder yeah. of the Gay Games. <laughs> my ass is 140 years old. <laughs> My sphincter was replaced in the 70s, and I'm due for an upgrade next year. My internal organs have been donated to the Washington Museum next to the Constitution. They are there in a bud. Pistols on and players to full time and then to extra time with their crunch shape. We're going 4 4 2, which is four men across midfield and push them back as far as we can. But at the same time, by doing that, creating more space for players to come and receive the ball. And this has worked really effectively for us at times. Can Sam and Duncan come and have a breather? And Steve Clayton as well come up for a breather. 4 4 2, Paul Tree left back, Jason James. Okay? Um, sorry. Uh, Carl as well, Steve, uh, Curtis, go on the right, Jez and Ryan in the centre, Dan, can you go to the left, narrow left, Jay, narrow right, and you're going everywhere, give them a football, I want energy on the back line, so the back line is Paul Creed, Jason, James and Steve Curtis, okay, up front will be Rambo and Damo coming on, alright, 
442. Carl, sorry, you're coming off as well. Okay. So lads, 442, I want us to go at it now. 15, 20 minutes. This becomes a war of attrition, so be it. I want to be right go after half time now. Try and get the goal that will win us this game. Okay? Come on, boys, we've got an eye as well. This is the test. We're going to have to play two games like this, lads. Come on, boys. Stay in the shape for this. Stay in the shape. Come on, boys. Uh, your ball play fantastic. You've got to be really good. Thanks to Ryan, who got his amazingly cheap flight to pick up this man. Did a great job there, Ryan. Well done, Ryan. Absolutely brilliant. Well done to Steve for being, getting money off everyone. Like, he's been a constant fucking pest. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's fucking good at that. And, it, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. Got, and we managed to get everyone here. Yeah. We managed to get everyone here. And, you know, well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, will we get everyone back? <laughs> now let's just go and get bollocks. All right, let's go more speeches. Let's just go and get bollocks. Well done, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, so well. Not been able to get much action in the tournament. No, because we've got a girl at home. <laughs> Okay, I was talking about the football. Ah, <laughs> they think he's not okay, mate. <laughs> um, knee injury sort of kept you out of pretty much all of it. Yeah. Hopefully, going to get you trying to play for the seconds today. Right, Do you think that? you're in peak <laughs> mental and physical condition for that? No. <laughs> I'm at about two percent on top of my game. Seriously, that bad. I should not be playing. I'm doing something silly at the moment. Take one for the team. Respect. <laughs> How you enjoying the trip, mate? Best holiday I've ever had. Better than Copenhagen by fucking miles. And uh, are you enjoying uh, some of the looks of the German women? <laughs> no, they're all fucking up to me, the Gary Armpit. Oh, there's one now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not turning the camera. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Top! 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 Where's the ref gone? Yeah, He's up. Ads. Okay, then give me a little formation. Sorry! <laughs> 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 so we're here with Craig Norton, goal go goalkeeper turned uh, striker for the day. <laughs> Craig, you just come off the pitch. You look um, like you're in tip top form and condition. No. Um, did you have a good night last night? Very good night. And um, I'm sure, given that you had an important 7th, 8th playoff game, you got to bed at a reasonable hour? I did get to bed at a reasonable hour, but then I was being sick until the early morning, so I didn't know. Ah, OK. And you're looking forward to getting back on the pitch in a minute? I'm not going now, so I'm done now. That's okay. my cologne over. over. OK, excellent. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Certainly, in my opinion, and many others, one outstanding player for the first team. Not only that, having watched 
the semi-finals, the finals today, and other group games, I haven't seen genuinely better play of the tournament. He took his game to another level this week, and without a shadow of a doubt, the best team player is Jason Absolutely. I think the fact that Jason lost his voice so early on has had no yeah. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> How did he lose his voice? <laughs> well, <laughs> it may have been two for one tag. <laughs> <laughs> Just to relate to the second team, I'm taking nominations for everyone at the moment for players player in the tournament as well. Um, so, I, I, I can't get a fan, I've got to speak to everyone about it. So, in relation to the second team player, player in relation to the manager and captain setting up the player, I'll be dishing that down to the same time, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to keep you in the school. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, Stephen, how have you enjoyed Cologne? <laughs> Um, it's been amazing. I don't want really to talk. I don't want to talk. Why don't you want to talk? The camera loves you, as does Dave. <laughs> How did you feel about how the football went? I don't want to, I don't want to do it now. Why not? You're, you're most lubricated. Drink, He'd obviously like to be lubricated more. Yeah, a lot more of this. Like, maybe when the club is flashing lights, yeah. it'll be more exciting. But overall, it's been amazing. Have you enjoyed the football? I did, yeah. I've learned a lot from the experience as well. So. Okay, and how do you think we're going to do next season? Next season, I think we've got a very good chance to win the league. Very okay. good chance. We'll probably win it. So. Fantastic. And Duncan Jones, first season with Village Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> Everything you expected it to be? And more. You know, so many positives. <laughs> um, where do I begin? You know. But well, let's 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 talk about love's new romance. Yeah. You know, you've been at the club of after Stephen, James you, Williams. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, let's God. talk. Let's talk about you and the chairman. Oh. You know, you've been at, you've been at the club of after. Of, Seconds, yeah. When, when, of nepotism are rampant. <laughs> when, when he made his move, did did he woo you quickly? Um, I think off straight away I was petrified, and yeah. um, but then slowly it became beautiful. You know, sort of like Beauty and the Beast. You decide who's who. <laughs> um, so yeah, nice. Okay. And thoughts for the new season? Um, I'm going to try and score without tripping over. Tripping myself over. I think that's a big, a big aim for me. That would be fabulous. Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. Um, Sings those songs, the musicals. Steve Clayton. You 
Oh, have you got chess? I know him so well. Bob Edison. Mm. Uh, I like Paige. You know about Shuri 